So traditionally science excellence has been measured using metrics such as citations or the impact factor of the journal you publish in. Um, but for us, science excellence is actually more about the impact that the research makes and the difference it makes to New Zealand. And the key to science excellence is really in the people and in the researchers we have. They're the single biggest investment this organisation makes. They're our single biggest asset. And it's really about having scientists who are passionate about the research they're doing and really care deeply for the environment in New Zealand. The main users of SMAP are obviously farmers, uh, the rural professional industry, um, regional councils and central government. The key components that I'll be aiming to um, do in this, in this programme is collecting a, a lot of key data on how, how water um, infiltrates into the soil, so how it moves into the soil, how it's stored within, within the soil, within the kind of soil aggregates, but then also on sloping land where it moves as well. And that goes into the database within ESMAP, which um, Linda Lilburn, who co-leads the programme with me, then uses that data to supply a whole lot of information to a whole lot of models and, and tools and decision making processes. Right, let's take a look at ESMAP. Here's an example of a fact sheet that provides all of this information on the soils. And this is where we've taken that information that Sam's busy collecting out in the field. We do some statistics and turn it into these graphs which show you where the, the soil water properties of the soil. Well, we've got lots of really good soil information, but we also have a lot of white space where we don't yet have that information. So one of our aims is to use good science to, make, to be able to do the predictions on all of that white space so that we've got data for all of New Zealand. It's really focusing around coming up with a model of um, hive placement on land to optimise production um, values but in a sustainable way. So we're working with um, a range of Maori agribusiness partners who are managing very large land blocks which allows us to sort of operate on that landscape scale. Yeah we've chosen uh, the best research providers that we could to answer elements of this program and really by co-designing with our end users from the beginning we hope to be able to actually produce that impact that we're really looking for. We'll be focusing on manuka honey um, however we'll also be looking at other native honey species in the project so kanuka uh, Tawiri, Rewa Rewa, uh, these have all got great potential for the future. Yeah, the aim of our project is to develop a robust new tool for DOC and a range of end users who are interested and involved in um, wetland conservation to effectively monitor and manage their wetlands and also to help prioritise um, restoration activities in New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand's not unique in um, having lost the bulk of its wetlands. We've lost 90% of our wetlands since human arrival mostly to agricultural um, development and drainage. Um, the tool that we will develop um, is pretty cutting edge and nobody's developed something like this yet. And so we're hoping that it'll also transfer to the international wetland um, monitoring and assessment um, area as well. Our aim is, that, is to produce a species or possum specific toxin, which would be um, readily acceptable by the public and thereby allow us to do large-scale possum control using large amounts of toxin. We're aligned with the predator-free initiative. I think that um, having species-selective pesticides, uh, rodenticides, would be a, a huge advantage to predator-free NZ because that would allow them to do their control, their large-scale control measures and have citizen buy-in to those operations. We want to design a release strategy for a new strain of RHD um, this will involve uh, modelling work and field work to design the, the best spatial configuration for the release and also the best timing for the release. Um, if we optimise this release we can save pastoral farmers millions of dollars in control costs and lost production costs and also improve native biodiversity. Well we're going to take a lot of different research about invasions, about management and work really closely with operations to um, get on top of the national problem of wilding conifers or wilding pines. So it's not just about controlling weeds, it's about allowing primary production, water use, reducing fire risk and a whole lot of ecosystem uh, considerations and, and benefits of doing that management. You could argue they're the biggest weed problem in New Zealand. They're on almost two million hectares now. That's growing six to eight percent a year. So right now is sort of a critical time to get on top of these. It's, a, it's really a national issue. Our science helps save iconic New Zealand species from Kiwi to Kangaroo. Our biological collections are invaluable tools for our scientists. 
like Stan in his Cary dieback research. Lanke has been involved in dieback research from about, probably about 2003. We have now described the cowrie killing Phytophthora and we are working with our uh, joint venture partners Scion and Plant and Food to uh, evaluate and test for resistance to Phytophthora in cowrie. Examples of our world leading research will be in areas such as measuring and mitigating greenhouse gases. The right tools and the right people enable us to not only make a contribution to New Zealand with our research, but also internationally. You've heard about the breadth of Landcare Research's new science programmes, programmes that will have a major benefit for New Zealand. For our science to have that benefit, it's excellent science done by great people. It is relevant to New Zealand's needs, it's client focused, embraces Māori values and engages well with the public. We invest taxpayers' money wisely to get the best value from our national collections. And from our science, we create solutions to global and local issues. At Landcare Research, our science is for the benefit of all New Zealanders, for our land and our future.